black hole is a object of mass that is so massive and so dense that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. And so we have an extremely dense, probably even infinitely dense, concentration at the very center, surrounded by an event horizon through which nothing can um, escape from. One thing about a black hole is, of course, it has extremely strong gravity, and it has extremely strong tidal forces. So these are the same sorts of forces that cause tides on the Earth. That's why they're called tidal forces. And they not just pull an object towards a black hole, but they also pull it apart. And so because the gravity from a black hole is so strong, a star that gets too close to it will find itself elongated, stretched, and ultimately torn apart. Uh, so it gets shredded and becomes a disk of extremely hot matter. But once a star gets torn apart by a black hole, it also becomes heated up to extremely high temperatures. And that's one uh, mechanism by which you get a lot of radiation. So you get a lot of optical light. You also get uh, x-rays and emission at many other electromagnetic wavelengths when this happens. Um, in addition to that, for this particular event that we're studying, we think an additional thing happened, which is that the magnetic fields of the black hole, or maybe some other process, ejected a small part of the star's matter back out into space at nearly the speed of light. And uh, that's what actually alerted us to the existence of this particular uh, dying star. The way we found this event was through a telescope in California called the Zwicky Transient Facility which basically observes the whole sky every night, piece by piece, and then looks for anything that's changed since the previous night. So in the case of um, this event, what happened was a scientist was processing the data from the survey and noticed that a new source had appeared in the sky and then very quickly gone away again in just about one night, which is um, either faster or slower than almost anything we already um, commonly see in the sky. So he got in touch with me, and uh, we got observations with the Liverpool Telescope to confirm that this was a source um, with the characteristics of what we might expect from a jet coming from a star being torn apart by a black hole. Um, what we then did next was we got further observations at other observatories after confirming it with the Liverpool Telescope. Uh, a particularly important one was we used the Very Large Telescope um, at the European Southern Observatory in Chile to acquire spectroscopy, which allows us to measure the distance to the event. And uh, we were really flabbergasted when we got the result, which is that the distance was uh, about 8 billion light years. So that meant that this event was extraordinarily powerful. It was releasing an enormous amount of energy uh, all at once in this, um, in this disruption event. These, these are exceptionally rare events. Uh, it's, it's already pretty uncommon to find a star being torn apart by a black hole. Um, the universe is huge and a lot of things happen in it, but uh, we've only found a small number of examples. And it's even rarer to find a case where you produce these energetic jets, which is the way that we found this event and what made it most exciting. In fact, this is only the third such event to ever be found, uh, and the last time one was found was uh, a decade ago. So that's, uh, that was very exciting.